welcome to my channel, The Media. I'm Andrew. In this channel, we'll be exploring disruptive companies to unlock exponential gains. Disruptive companies are companies that solve a problem in a creative way. If this is your first time in my channel, I hope that you'll go through all the channel. And if it is a fit for you, then consider subscribing to the channel by hitting the subscribe button. Uh, you may want to use the notification bell by hitting it. That way, you'll get notifications for all of my videos. If you're new to OTC Penny Stocks Trading, consider using my link to open an account with Charles Schwab. That's the platform that I use to trade penny stocks and they don't give me any trouble. I'm not endorsed by them at all. Uh, if you use the link, you support my channel and I think you get free money. Webull, I also use that platform. Uh, the same thing, you use my link, you support my channel and you get free stocks. They're all in the description box. Not a financial advisor. This video is strictly my opinion and is for educational purposes only. And last but not least, a big thank you to everyone who's been subscribing and liking and commenting and following me. I really appreciate all your support. Without further ado, let's dig in. Today, I'm very, very excited to be doing an update on a company that I am very long on and I have done a lot of research on. You probably have already seen all my DDs and all my videos on it when I interviewed the CEO. It's AITX, Fisher Intelligence Technology Solutions. And I have to say that I had a blast and I learned a whole lot from my interview with the CEO. And ever since then, I have been adding up to my positions on the dip. So if you look at the trade volume in the last couple of weeks, I noticed that I think for me, the best entry to set right now is if you can get it at nine cents or 10 cents, that's a really good entry. I think this penny stock has the ability to go to a dollar. And there's some recent development in the company that I really like that makes me more excited about the company. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you those. Uh, the first updates are based on sales and the second one is the development. And I have another surprise. I took the poll for OZSC and AITX. At that time, these two sub penny stocks were just really hot. And I wanted to know what people were thinking of these two companies. And these are some of the results that I will be showing you guys today. Uh, let's first start off by showing you the results. So this was the poll that I took about a month ago. Again, at the time where AITX and OZSC was really hot. And that, that was what people were talking about all the time. Based on two 107 votes. The question was, are you holding AITX, OZSC, or both for the long haul? 45% says AITX, 17% says OZSC, 15% says both, but a bit more in OZSC, 22% says both, but a bit more in AITX. So as you can see, AITX have a big following and a lot of people believe in them. So for most of these stocks, I do community polls like this. Although I know that the sample size it's very small, but at least we have something to work with. Again, these are just random sampling. I do not know who answered these polls. Okay, so we'll start with the second news. Basically, new orders from Fortune 500 companies on March 1st, 2021. Artificial Intelligence Technology Solutions announces accelerated order activity. New orders from Fortune, uh, from Fortune 500 ranked clients. And it was for seven unit order consists of four AVA devices and three Wally units. I remember that when I was talking to Steve and interviewing him, I liked the fact that he was doing organic advertisement. He said that a lot of these deals came from the recommendations of other Fortune 500 companies. So I think this is just the best way to do advertisement because you garner more trust from your clients that way. This one is pretty big. Robotic Assistance Devices announces dealer agreement with St. Moritz Security Services. So. RAD is a wholly owned subsidiary of AITX. And so on that day, that's entering into an agreement with St. Morris Security Services. It is one of the 10 largest security firms in North America. And through this agreement, St. Moritz brought in its offering to include all of RAD's autonomous remote security solutions. And St. Moritz achieved over a hundred million in annual revenue in 2029, which ranks them as one of the, of the largest North American security companies in the US and in the top 2% of all security companies worldwide. St. Moritz has 30 offices na nationwide and covers the entire US and Canada. Their sales pipeline with RAD is already with up to 50 units, a mix of RAD, ROSA, and AVA units expected to be closed soon. These devices will be deployed at the distribution centers for a nationwide furniture retailer. When they have deals with such big companies, 
other smaller security company is going to follow suit because if a big security company plays enough trust in, the, in these robots, then I think that it, won't, it only makes sense that smaller security companies will follow suit. But what really excites me more than all of this is if you go into their website, you'll see there is another tab for Red G. Red G is AITX's newest wholly owned subsidiary. It is a software company that creates solutions in line with Autonomous Remote Services Manifesto. I visited the website. The website looks really cool and very futuristic, but they have no information right now. It says that further details will be released in coming months. Why is it that I'm so excited about this Rad G software company? I remember during my interview with Steve, I said, well, once you give, once you sell all your robots, if they have issues, then what do they do? With better software, I think AITX will be will be more involved in the companies that they that they have dealings with, right? Because if there's any troubleshooting, if any kind of update, then the two of them we need to work more. And so I think that these companies will develop deeper relationships with AITX through software de developments. I also remember from from my interview with Steve, he mentioned that he, the companies when they're growing uh, for a robotic company with artificial intelligence they will need a lot of software engineers. And so it doesn't surprise me that when he mentioned that he's going to be hiring more software engineers, that another subsidiary focusing on software, because with software, then you'll see that they will be improving their robotics in terms of functions, in terms of design. So I can imagine that all of their robots will look even better, what will be able to provide even more services catered to businesses that needs their service. So to me, this is super, super, super important. And someone asked him about Rad G and Steve said in time, it could be their biggest subsidiary. And I ag agree with that. And I'm more excited about this news because of that. I'm definitely going to think about adding to my position. Like I mentioned before, I gave you guys the chart uh, the last couple of weeks. And I think the best entry, if you can, at nine cents or 10 cents, 11 cents, those are great entry points. Like you the first can. couple of videos, I thought AITX has such great products. The only thing that they needed at the time was some promotion, some marketing. I'm pleased to say that on their website, they have an AITX video interviews section. And when you click on it, you'll see hey, the first of all interviews is me, the media, dated January 26, 2021. All six videos immediately after my video, then AITX caught the attention of a bigger, more established YouTuber. I think this guy has maybe 30,000 subscribers. And then he's had more interviews since then. So more people know about the company, translate to more sales. And also I found DDs on a red edit that talks about, that really focuses on the advertisement of AITX. And if you see, Number 28, this person that prepared this DD said, check out this excellent multi-part YouTube interview with AITX president Steve Reinhardt. It's a one of six part video series on the media's YouTube channel and there's a link. So I'm just very happy that AITX is finally getting the coverage that they deserve. And there's a lot of media attention. Steve have been appearing on interviews uh, with other news and media outlet. I, I think this company still has a lot of potential. It still have a lot of movement uh, upward. Uh, I'm going to be watching closely for those dips and set up my entries. Like I've mentioned before, always, always be patient. Gains will come to those who are patient. Before, when there are good news, I just want to buy the company right away. But I've learned that, you know, set our entry, slowly increase it uh, depending on what the situation is. So take it easy. You want to make sure that you get the best price possible. Thank you very much for tuning in. Comment below and let me know if you have any questions. I would be more than happy to answer them. Thanks again for your support. Until next time.